Hello everyone, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. As y'all saw in one of our other videos, we planted the uh, red Lesota Irish potatoes. It's not the only potato we plant here on our homestead. There is another potato, it's called the fingerling potato. It's a white potato. In my opinion, this is the best potato that a person could really grow. The only problem with them is, is just that you don't get a large quantity of them. It takes a lot of them to make, to weigh up. But as far as taste, I think that they have the best taste of the, that you can get in a potato. It's almost like they have butter on them already when you cut them up and eat them. And we take ours, we live, these have been in the cellar all year. They've, they've shrunk up, but they get these little eyes coming out all over them. And we just plant them things in the garden. And they, these all been in there, they've been in the cellar for a year. Now they do shrivel up some, but we're going to put the whole potato in, and we do have the ones that we've, we've already cut into pieces, the larger ones. They don't get much over about three inches long and maybe an inch in diameter, but they are just fantastic potatoes for planting in the garden. We've got this whole bucket full of them here. We're going to be putting in the ground. All right, we've got Wanda. She's dropping the potatoes in the rows. I'll be coming behind her, covering them up. These fingerling potatoes, if I can show you, these potatoes, the eyes, don't have to be turned up on them. You can just basically just drop these in the ground. You can see down the row there. We put ours about, about every 10 inches apart. That's plenty sufficient for these. Get the camera turned back around here. These rows are pretty long, so we'll, we're will we going to do two rows of them, and that'll give us enough to eat on for the year and can a few. Just thought we'd share a few, a few more things we do on the homestead here with you.